And now for a little scintillating ground school. Being pilot, he may look all like, ooh, cool, great job, but the reality of studying for this stuff is Sominex, but you have to know it. Now, this is on the electrical system. And what this is is a system logic question. Now, what you have to understand is the electrical system of this aircraft, there's a, a, an IDG, an integral, integral drive generator, basically a generator with a transmission on it, so it'll keep a constant speed, an IDG. Uh, sometimes in other aircraft are called CSDs or constant speed drives. But anyway, it's a generator on each engine. And they can be, each one of those powers its own AC electrical bus, alternating current electrical bus. Those buses are connected through what's called a bus tie, which has its own logic. There's also the, and a generator on the auxiliary, auxiliary power unit in the tail. Okay. Now, where you can get in the weeds is the bus tie and the buses themselves have different logic. A bus, an electric bus, using one of the lesser meanings of omnibus, is many things put together. Like you hear in politics, they talk about, oh, that's an omnibus bill. That means there's a whole bunch of different unrelated stuff packed into one bill. So since a bunch of separate things are pulled together, it's called omnibus. Well, electrical systems and aircraft are done this way. You have buses, which are, have all these different systems that go to a, a common bus. That's where they, and that's where their power is distributed, okay? You have one for the, each generator, uh, or excuse me, you have the, you have the uh, uh, AC bus one, which is on engine one. You have the AC bus two, which is on the generator on engine two. And like I said, they're tied together with a, a bus tie. Then uh, there's the uh, uh, generator on the auxiliary power unit. Okay, um, and uh, the bus tie has its own logic, and it looks AGI. It looks at the APU first for power, then it looks at the ground power unit for power, because you have external power that can be, you see the umbilicals in the airplane plugged in, and then you have the IDGs, all right, or the, the engine generators. So this is asking about what's powering what, to, and the question is formed so you can under, see if you, to test your, your knowledge of the, how the logic works. All right. Now, but the buses themselves, their logic is, look for my onside. I'm IDG one, I'm, I'm bus tie one. I want to look at engine one at IDG one, the generator on engine one. That's the first place I'm going to look for power. If I can't find it, then I'm going to go over and look to the bus tie for power. And then the bus tie gets that power from AGI, either APU, ground power, or IDG in that order. Okay. Bearing that exciting bit of trivia in mind, you taxi and park at the gate. The ground crew plugs in external power and the pilot selects ground power. That means the power is plugged in and I've told the airplane I want to be able to use that power. With both engines idling, still running. What is AC bus 2's power source? Okay. And then the next question is, uh, now you shut down engine number 2, how is AC bus 2 powered? And remember, we're not talking about the bus tie, we're talking about the AC bus itself. We just said the bus looks at its own generator first, and if it doesn't find power, then it looks to the tie. So with both engines going and the generator going, AC bus two is going to look to IDG two for power. Now we shut down engine number two. That generator, that generator drops offline. Now AC bus two, electric bus two, is going to look uh, at the bus tie. All right. But remember, the bus tie has a logic. Remember, I mean, we still have the left engine idling, so we still have IDG1 online, but we also have ground power coming in. And remember, the bus tie logic was APU, ground power, then IDG. So since the APU is off, that's not providing power to the bus tie. We're talking about the tie now that ties the two together, okay? But we do have ground power, A-G-I. So the ground power is goes, up. Ah, I've got ground power. I'm going to ignore the bus tie itself. I'm going to ignore IDG1 and go get electricity from that ground power source. So now you're sitting there with AC bus 1 still being powered by the running engine 
and AC bus two being pied, uh, powered by the ground power via the bus tie. Clear as mud. There's a, a look at the panel. And uh, so I just thought I would share that little bit with you. This is the kind of stuff that we, uh, oh, you want to do another, you say? Oh, okay. In cruise flight, you receive an IDG-1. And remember when you hear IDG, just think generator. Uh, you hear it, you, you receive an IDG-1 off bus caution message. So for some reason, IDG-1 just went off bus. Okay, just, just you know, disconnect it from the bus and they can do that for various reasons. Where does AC bus one now receive its source of electrical power? Now, um, we're assuming that the APU is off because we're in cruise flight with two engines going. And basically one generator for whatever reason just went off bus. It may be working, but it's not putting power to the bus or the generator may have quit working. The point is it's off bus. But IDG, uh, but AC bus one still needs power. Well, it's gonna look to the bus tie. And so we're back to our bus tie priority. APU, ground power, and then IDG, all right? Well, we just said the APU is not running. We're in flight, so obviously we don't have ground power. So that just leaves the IDG. Well, the only IDG that's online right now is IDG2. So AC bus one is gonna to look to the bus tying and get power from AC bus two via that bus tie. Now you decide to start the APU. We'll say we're down 31,000 feet or lower or we can spool up the APU. You decide to start the APU. Where does the AC bus tie now receive its power? And you're right back to the bus tie logic, A-G-I. Well, APU, that's the first place it looks. So once we spool up that APU and that generator comes online, now AC bus, that now the bus tie is being powered by the APU. So the AC bus one is gonna get its power from the APU via the bus tie. And AC bus two is getting its power directly from IDG two, which is still working. Clear as mud. <sighs> and so on and so forth. I just thought I would share it. And that's two questions out of 631 pages, which, you know, there's, there's two processes, about three, about 315 questions in the bank. And cause you get one page of questions and then of course it's explained in the next page. So, uh, I love this stuff. I just thought I would share that with you since I'm not going to put any content that, and, and that again, telling you reinforces it to me. So, uh, uh, and if you have trouble sleeping tonight, just put this on loop. Trust me, if you're like me. <laughs> Guys, take care. Model on.